There's a difference. Some are going to say, we don't want to run with you all the time. You just want to go to church and read the Bible. That's our meat. That's what we live on. That's our strength. That's our anointing. Shut up. That's our reason for living. I want the Holy Ghost to get this to your mind. Now is not this time. Don't wait for New Year's Eve for a new promise from God. Don't say the first eight months didn't work. Maybe I'll have to wait till the new year. Say not four months. You've got to get yourself in gear, but it's more than getting yourself in gear. You've got to have the imparted anointing. That's why I want to anoint with oil anybody in the place that wants to be anointed for. I want to pray for your children. They'll be out of that church in a minute. We cannot let them go back to these schools. We cannot live a, let them live another day in this world. You don't know when the refinery will be blown up in Regina. Look at me. The only way to cripple the world is to cut off the energy supply. All the energy except for in Canada and the U.S. is cut off in the Middle East the day they decide to do it. Mm -hmm. And those insane spirits are so great that if they couldn't do it by a war, they'd just set bombs in every one of those places. And you're thanking God you're not in the Middle East and we've got one of the biggest oil refineries in Canada right here. Right. Do you think when the Arabs cut off their oil supply, to the U.S. and Britain, that they're going to be content for our pipelines to flow. You are so caught up in the world and the things of the world, you have no idea the day you're living. That's why you've got to bring that spirit that says, "Well, when I'm older, I'll get saved. When I just before I die, I'll get saved. Just before the Lord, it's in the church right now. One day I'll be blessed. One day I'll be healed. One day I'll get my miracle. One day I'll get on fire." But right now, I've got to take care of my job. I've got to take care of my business. Don't get me wrong. If somebody's paying you money, you're obligated to them to do the best job you can. And if you don't pay attention to your business, you won't have any business to pay attention to. But I'm telling you, you better seek God where you can fulfill that business and your calling. You need to be a shakotorabahana. I've been going into that dialysis unit as a patient. When I went there yesterday, someone said, what are you doing here? I said, there's a soul about to die and I've got to get him ready for heaven. Amen. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. That's why this oh, is. My God! Yes, yes, yes. He's dead in your sleep. Oh, my God, my God, my God, my God. He's dead in your sleep. He's dead in your sleep. For I have spoken once, I've spoken twice, I've spoken again. Draw unto me while there is yet time. Come to me, saith the Lord. Set out. Set up. Sell it. O God of Ohio. Awake now that sleepest. How many times did Jesus say, I come quickly. Awake. Awake. If you knew the thief was coming, you'd stand guard. Awake. He's not just talking about the second coming. No, he's talking about your anointing, your breakthrough, your harvest. What have you labored for all your life? Have you been a godly mother, godly father, all your life praying for your kids to get saved? All your life? working for your kids? Have you spent your life in business or at work so you could have the finances to finance the kingdom of God? And, and, and that's your area. But you, you, well, your harvest for that is coming now. 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 Hallelujah. Now faith is. The Holy Ghost, one of the gifts of the Spirit, or, or the Holy Ghost, one of His gifts, is the gift of faith. He wants to impart it now for this day, the first month, the first day of the ninth month, for this month, leading you into the end of the year in the power of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. 
Hallelujah. If you're here today, right now, and you took an envelope from me last night, and you're turning it in today, I don't care if it's for $9, I don't care if it's for $99, I don't care if it's for $333, I don't care if it's for $999. If you're here, and you made a vow last night, and you can pay it right here, right now. Now, you don't have to go to a bank machine. We have a machine right here now. You don't have to go to a credit card machine. We have it here right now. Is there anyone in this house that took an envelope last night well, in that $9 seasonal vow that's got it today? Rave at me if you do. Bring it to me right now in the name of Jesus. Don't say tomorrow my harvest. Don't say next week my kids. Don't say next week my relationship. Don't say next week my house. You don't understand. This is more than a preacher hanging on an envelope. Give me your right hand, Brother Bill. This is the voice of the Lord that spoke to me. Spoke to me before the prophet even announced to the congregation. An injection, a fresh injection, an infusion, an overtaking, an overwhelming of the Holy Ghost. You got it. Yeah. Rasa. Take it. Makariyaha. Go ahead. Just receive it. You receive it. Receive it. Drink it in. Drink it in. Hallelujah. Somebody better pray with him. Pray him up and lay hands on him. Crown his shoulder. Go to Yamaha. The harvest of your children being saved. The harvest of your children being set free. The harvest of your own home. The Holy Ghost in two Jesus. Lay a hand on another and it's take it. Anybody else? Anybody else? Turning in that on. You've probably given more money to the Lord in the last week than in your life, or at least at not many days. Your faith is alive. You're believing what you're hearing. Don't let anybody talk you out of it. For every sin you've sown, for every sacrifice you've made, don't say, maybe by next year it'll be different. Don't say, 2014 would it be a good year. Say not four months, but now is your time to begin to walk into the harvest. Your salvation harvest, your Holy Ghost harvest, your walking in God harvest. You obeying him in baptism heart. Oh my God, he'd be higher. Oh, in serving him and being on fire. And the things you've received that you love in these past few days. And yet the things you've received that you don't understand. The Holy Spirit of God will take you into a harvest of understanding. A, a harvest of dedication. A harvest of power. You don't even know it. I've already begun to change your life in this world and for the world to come forever, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. i got to do all the anointings on Thank you. Hashaya. 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 If you're here to write down one thing you want God to do, what you want the Holy Ghost to get into more than anything else, write it down, and if not, get it in your mind. I don't need to know it. The only reason I want it written down is because if any two of you agree as any such thing. And so in the service today, in just a few minutes' time, I'm going to give you a chance to turn in what you've written down. But if you haven't had a chance to write it down, there's something very real. You've got to get close to me and speak it in my ear. And speak it in my ear. Because this is not something you're alone on. The Holy Ghost spoke to this man of God. The Holy Ghost spoke to this man of God. He infused in my heart. Before I knew if glory would be here or not. For sure. I felt this. I felt this. After I knew the prophet was leaving. This is not a man trying to fill in. This is a man of God on assignment. And I'm telling you, it's got to do with infusion. Some of you need the Holy Ghost infused back into your life. Once in a while in the camp meeting, you feel it all over. But after you get off the floor, it's gone. 
And then some of you it lasts the next day and the next day, but it's gone. We've got to learn how to live in this anointing. Amen. In him I live and move and have my being. You've got to have this anointing on the job. It'll save you thousands of dollars. You've got to have this anointing if you're in business. You've got to be in this place of God if you're going to pastor. I've never canceled so many plans and rearranged so many schedules. And I hardly know from day to day what's going to happen this week, except Friday night. You need to be here Friday night. Friday night's going to be a victory night. Every one of you that got something from God, you need to be here Friday. And a week from Friday, Bible school begins. I'll tell you that stuff later, but I can preach up a whole toll. My God, I feel it. If you need a tithe envelope, raise your hand all over the house. If you need a tithe envelope, let's slip it up and slip it down. Tithe. Up and down. Anybody else? I want you to play me something soft. I'm feeling something. I'm feeling that heavy anointing. When I talk about that heavy anointing, it's not something you will feel like goosebumps and do that. You could, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about getting light as a feather. It's like when my angel came in here last night. What questions did you ask me about when you were prayed for last night, Francis? Come down here quickly. I feel a deep thing. It's the kind of anointing that if nobody wants to believe it, they can't feel it or receive it, I couldn't care less. It's the kind of anointing that what I say, I shine oil come. I asked Bishop if anyone laid hands on me while I was standing there. When the angel of the Lord walked through here, and I prayed for you, and what did you feel before you went down? I felt someone laid hands on my forehead. I told you my angel was going to lay hands. The angel stood with me in the hospital. And God said, no matter what happens, don't let them take his life. Care less if you believe it. I saw you. He talked. He was in this place last night. Somebody said, Bishop, I didn't see him. He's not mine. might have seen angels. I don't know. I couldn't care less. I'm over caring less. Love me or leave me. Follow me or depart. Not a case of who's right and wrong. Too close to the end now. Some of us have crossed over. Crossed over. And I come to tell you the same God that took you through the Jordan River and overflowed his banks. The same God that gave you Jericho has already given you the promised land that you just have to go and take it. Kaya. If you're here today, bow your heads and close your eyes. I'm going to give you a chance to take one of these special seeds for the ninth month. You don't have to take it. I won't think you're backslidden. If you don't, I won't think you're not spiritual. I don't want you to please me. But God spoke to me to prepare some envelopes for last night. That you can take something tangible, something that costs you something, as a point of contact. And so into this ninth month anointing that's going to invade and fuse and flow from everything you touch and everything you pray to cause a harvest right now, a finishing right now. And God told me that once you assign that seed in particular toward the harvest and that one thing in particular or toward three. Don't ever ask 
God for it again until the Spirit of the Lord puts an intercessory spirit on you. Just thank Him. Just thank Him. Thank you for His salvation. Thank you for her deliverance. Thank you for my house. Thank you for my grace. Thank you. Thank you. Never in my ministry when I passed out a handkerchief nailed a burden to the cross called the other. <coughs> Gave you a prayer call who told you to write a letter to Jesus. That's the kind of anointing Pastor Baby. Come on me for that which they've written down. This is not a light thing. One of my main ministries in the whole month is what you wrote down. Shikaya. But I believe there's some people here. There's somebody whose dreams are so big, whose financial desires are so big, for what you want done for your family, so big. In fact, for what you need to God to do, you're so big. You're going to take an envelope for $999. I have one left from last night. There are other people here. You can't give that. You don't have faith for that. And the last thing you need to do is take an envelope and not do it. But God said three last night. There's one left to go today. God said three for 333 last night. Just one left for today. These are for people that just don't live like anybody else, don't think like anybody else, don't dream like anybody else. You are in an upper echelon. One of those larger uncles is going to turn loose your finances. I don't mean $100 next week or 2000 after that. I'm talking you the dam, that huge dam that holds back the blessing is about to explode in the power of the Holy Ghost. And then I want everybody else that God speaks to. There's nine here. I don't know if you move back to care less. It's out of my hands. I'm not the one that told you to do it. I'm not the one that thought this up. I'm not the one that has the vision. Came from the throne. Not a doubt in my mind. To do what God says. Honor Him. No weapon formed against you. you have power in this thing. Nine for ninety-nine. Some can't do it. You can turn it in today by cash. Use your credit card machine or debit. You can write a check. You must write the name on the envelope again. Or you'll have to pay. Get it back in the ninth month. I'm not going to tell you God will curse you. If you take the envelope and can't pay it in the ninth month, he'll honor you. It takes you 10, month 11, or 12. But there's an anointing wrapped around this ninth month. And if you don't see it in your life and in the church, something is going to happen on the world scene in the ninth month that you will know somebody got a revelation of why that Holy Ghost anointing and protection and harvesting power has to be released now. Bow your heads and close your eyes. I've spoken. You that took one last night 
You don't have to take another, but there is one here. I want to serve a double portion, and I may speak to you again. You that are here, don't be in fear. This is something deep. Spirit to spirit. The spirit of the living God to the spirit of the man of God. To the spirit of people. I'm not going to ask you who's going to take 99, 999, or 333. But if you want these, one of these special uncles as they play something, raise your hand anywhere now. Come to me. Come. I've been very personal about you for the last few weeks. It looks like a whole 
batch of demons have invaded your house and children. Even some you thought were stabilizing. And some other you've been very concerned the last few days. Even weeks. Some it looks like they're going back and others it looks like they're getting worse. You did not tell yourself. Man did not tell you they're all coming in. I did. And I'm releasing that harvest anointing to fulfill the prophecies. Holy Ghost, come on and I need to be Anybody else not dealing with Fernando? Oh, Jesus. Peace. 